Evie back. This afternoon I'm going to do um, a ghost pour. Never done one before, so this will be exciting. Okay, so these are the paints I'm using this afternoon. For my base I'm going to have a, a pearl white and a classic white together. Um, the turquoise I've mixed with a little bit of the pearl white, bring it up lighter. Um, the brown, I've actually mixed a bit of black with it to make it dark and a bit of gold. Uh, we have English Rose and Blue Mist. There's the Blue Mist. Now the um, combination is, I'm not using any Floetrol, I'm just using PVA glue. Oh, here. PVA glue, 60% PVA glue with 40% water for all of the combinations. I'm also going to be putting in a bit of iridescent gold and iridescent fine copper. Uh, the items that I'm going to use uh, to pull my paint are just cards that you get at Bunnings, hardware shops, you know, for paint colours. They're perfect, they're nice and flexible. So we'll give it a go. Okay, sorry about the video in. I hope you can see it's a very large canvas. I will bring the camera down later so you can just have a look. Okay. Just get remove all this off the canvas first. Okay, this is the consistency of my base. It's mixed so that when you pour it, it doesn't sit back on top, but falls back into the paint combination itself. And we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to get ahead and I'm going to cover this in the base colour and then I'll be back. Okay, got the base white on. I'm just running over with the blowtorch just to remove. You see that one big one pop in. It took rather a lot of paint but I was prepared. Okay that's cool. Next thing we're going to do is black with gold mixture. Now I'll top that off with a little bit more white. iridescent copper.
still in view there. Right. Now what we're going to use now is the um, the paint cards. Hopefully this works. Oh, hang on. I better just um, take out any. Oh, there's no silicon being used in this painting at all. This is just totally paint, glue, and water. This takes a while for my little blowtorch to go off there. Okay, let's see how this goes. I've got some um, paper towel in here prepared to wipe my cards on. Let's see how this goes. So depending on where you place the card as to what will come on the top. Let's just give this a go. too much paint on there. I may have. Let's see what happens. The idea is that the paint fades out. structure coming in here and that's just with no silicon whatsoever that's just using glue paint and water okay well I want to just try and remove I'll just tear that in half and I'm going to come through here 
I don't actually want that line there, so I'm just going to come through here. looking quite good. I'm pretty impressed with that. I was hoping for maybe a touch more white so I'm just going to dribble a tiny bit more white. see how that goes. Just added a few dots of white here. I'm just going to drag that through and see how that goes. And that one's too big. I'll just make it smaller. a little bit more pink. Just 
this one here. Okay, I'm just going to. Um, what's this thing called? Blow huh? torch the top just to see what's coming through, which is very exciting. I'm absolutely delighted with my effort. It's my first one of a ghost painting. Loving the gold and the coppers coming through. Look at this bit here with the black cells and the gold. Just beautiful. Quite happy with that. Possibly I'll um, just paint, continue white around the edges, I think, because I haven't dragged it down on all the sides. And I'm just going to leave it at that and we'll come back later. Thank you for watching so far. Okay, I'm going to come down and zoom in and show you the results of all the colours. I probably should have put less colour in the middle so that it would fade away to nothing. As it is called a ghost painting, so it's supposed to fade to a ghost of nothing. But for my first attempt, I'm absolutely delighted with it. And this one's going to go on my wall. I'll come back and get some more photos in a little while. Thank you. Okay, 24 hours later and here we have the, the finished product. Well, until I resin it. I'm quite happy with the results here. All the different cell structures, more, more has formed. It's all blended beautifully. Yes, I'm very happy with that. Very happy.